All right, this is a video on how to replace the Chopper 1 lever return spring on the Chopper 1 splitting mall axe. This lever spring broke and the retainer's gone, so the should spring back like so after each, each time you strike a log. Anyways, you can buy a kit. It is $9.95 from Chopper 1 on his website. It takes it a couple weeks. The kit will come. He's got a little kit. It's uh, kit number zero. Zero one. I don't know if that's focused or not. That comes with two retainers and two springs. Um, you could also, if you didn't want to buy the kit and just wanted to make your own, uh, I did go ahead and put a calipers on the spring. The spring coils are 730 seconds. Uh, the spring's one inch long and the uh, wire diameter is 0.25. You could go to your local hardware store, buy something like this, cut it to length, bend a new loop on the end, and you'd have a couple of springs for $2. Uh, I've made a retainer. I've used, I've taken a, just a standard cotter pin, bend it, trim it, and then that would uh, also work in the retaining hole of the of the chopper one axe as well. So if you're chopping wood and you want to fix it and you got some stuff in your shop, you could fix it real quick. Uh, the easiest way I found to get this spring in here is go ahead and thread a needle nose through from the back side. Take your spring with the retainer in it already. Grab the loop. Bring it in there and then just hook it into the into the axe, into the lever. Let me rephrase it. You hook it into the lev lever of the axe and you'll have your spring done. A little tricky getting that hooked into there. Sometimes a couple needle nose helps. One to hold it and then one to kind of thread it into your chopper. One. Once you get it in there, you'll have both your levers working, and you have successfully, you're ready to go split some wood. Hope this helps.